congratulations for the amazing movie you have given. We enjoyed the movie. Yeah, we went three of us together. We really liked the movie. Thank you. So, um, before we begin, how do I pronounce your name? I'm sorry, I don't want to make any mistakes. You know. We have the same name. Oh, yes, we, that's we, what... You know, in reality, we have the same name in Arabic, hand in hand. But my mother is Belgian. Okay. I'm half half. So my mother chose to pronounce it Hind. Ah. So the European way for my name Hind. is Hind. But for her, no. I'm Hind. She's really Tunisian, so it's Hind. Right. And, and she stopped India. at the Hind. Oh, wow. Yes, it means India. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. Hind that's how we call it yeah. Hind. Yeah. Yeah. J Hind. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. exactly. Yeah, great. Yeah. yeah, but I I know that there is a lot of connection between Tunisia and India. The movies. Yes. And Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's good that we can make it as like hand in hand together. <laughs> exactly. Hand in hand. Movie. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. So, uh, how did you perceive this concept? Uh, is it based on any uh, thing you saw in Tunisia or? Yes, it's a mix between my. Uh, I don't know if I, I can call it fantasy, but fiction, <laughs> my imagination, and the the, the reality. Uh, you know. I've made a, um, a, a, a documentary a few, few years ago and uh, I knew a woman who uh, um, permitted me, permiss me to, came, to come in her world. So uh, with her I knew a lot of other women. Uh, and um, this movie and this story is inspired by those life actually. So um, how did you prepare for the role? Because it's it's quite a complicated role to play. I do some acting as well, so I can understand. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, it is a challenging role because it is a very uh, realist film. It's not. It is really uh, anchored in reality and in a sordid reality. Sometimes it's not. A nice reality. It's uh, it's a working mother, uh, working class, uh, three kids, um, raising them alone. Her husband is out of jail, in and out of jail, and it's more common than we think. But I'm I'm far from this life in my real life. So I had to meet, of course, women that meet. Um, allowed me to, to meet and to talk to and we went to their to the home and I got really, uh, how to call it, um, uh, I immersed myself even in the smells of the house, even in the, you know, everything is different. Uh, everything in, in those women's life is different and as Hint was saying now to someone else, they, they become addicted to their problems. They become, the problems become an addiction. The drama is a continuous drama. So I wanted it also to be as subtle as possible because you meet those women in the streets on the bus stop and the metro every day but you they, you don't know what's behind, you don't know the drama that's behind. They have to give themselves, they have to contain themselves and they have life goes on and life is made of really small things, paying the bills and, and even when they're in love, like Nora in the film, they do not allow themselves to be totally swept uh, away because the reality always brings them back. So I tried to be as realist as possible, uh, as um, uh, universal as possible, uh, and I tried to do it with many, uh, with a lot of um, unconscious behavior. I did not want to be really aware of what I'm doing with my face or my mouth. And so I was noticing yesterday, for example, that I play a lot with my mouth. Like, I'm always doing something with my mouth, but that was not really meant. It was as it, natural. Yeah. So Nura is there's a little bit of Nura in every woman, but she has circumstances that make that make her reality harder than than the, the common woman. Right. And we also saw the movie is an open-ending kind of life. We don't know who the call is from. Right? So is there any hint of like? who you think they call this from our, from your perspective as an audience, not as a director? No, but I told, um, uh, 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 there is an important thing, uh, as she told you, it's, problems are like drugs yeah. in life. So, for me, uh, it was important to let the, 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 uh, in 
imagine what would happen after the movie. Okay, perfect. Because her life, uh, for sure, will be full of problems after that. And ending it, ending, ending it, ending the movie with uh, clarification. I mean, something clear um, was uh, like uh, you know, stop <laughs> the imagination for the people and stop her life here. Maybe. Uh, um, uh, could give uh, a false idea that uh, it's an exceptional problem in her life, which is not the case. She will have, uh, have all uh, her problems. Yeah, that's, it. that's why I choose to let it go. Okay. Which is brilliant. Uh, so my question is, like, as an audience, who you expect to call? <laughs> who will you be happy if Lassad calls or the husband calls? <laughs> Lassa, for me, if Lassa calls because he is, she's in love with Lassa. Uh, the husband is uh, a man that will always be in her life. But she maybe loved him once. Maybe she was uh, younger. Maybe she was more naive. Maybe she thought he would change. Maybe, she, but she is in a phase in her life where she knows that he will not change. And she wants peace. She was, she has very small dreams. She just wants a very a small room with her, uh, the love of her life and her children. She does not want a car or a big house. Or all she wants is to live in peace. To live, uh, not to go to jail with food every week. To, to, to a husband that is not there. So I hope it is less. Yeah. Okay. Um, the other thing we wanted to question is about like. Um, how challenging it is to come from a conservative country. Like I can understand because India is also conservative. Sometimes when we do some projects, we face a lot of issues with the censor board and then public opinion and everything. So how do you find it challenging? Is it like to touch a subject about extramarital relationships? Uh, well, extramarital relationships is going to be something new. I mean, the approach to it is very new for Tunisian cinema. I think Tunisian cinema is a free cinema. It's not. It is the, the, the society is conservative, but relatively to the rest of the Arab world, the society is much more open uh, or receptive to uh, daring ideas or daring films. Yet, extramarital issue has not been really treated in Arab, in Arab cinema and not even in Tunisian cinema. So I think we are not worried because we know that we have an audience in Tunisia that will watch the film very soon at the uh, Cartage Film Festival and they are looking forward and I think they have been used to Tunisian cinema being daring and questioning societal problems and always trying to challenge the taboos and challenge uh, the traditions or conservatism. Yet, the language in the, la the movie is very raw, maybe uh, with the subtitles you don't get it, but we're saying words that nobody ever told in, in Tunisian cinema, very vulgar sometimes, especially the husband, uh, Jamel, um, so it will be a bit of a, an electric shock, which is why we make cinema, right? So don't we do this job to shake up the system? Shake up the, yeah, yes, the system. To shake, it, to shake it up, yes, and to yes, to, to debate, yes, to talk, yes. to talk. Yeah, I, I, so, okay, I, we are not we are not thinking about this thing in the same way, but let's, let's talk. talk about it. Yeah, uh, that's the best way for solving problems. Exactly. Exactly, and I think what saved Tunisia is also a civil society that is able to sit and talk about things even if they're not agreeing. Yes, right, great. So after all the serious questions, some light-hearted questions. Okay, what would be your favorite superpower? My favorite superpower, woo! <laughs> to me, definitely traveling in time. Oh wow! <laughs> I would love that. She's pragmatic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I want to go check out other options. <laughs> right. I have a follow-up question for you. Okay. <laughs> One she answers. That. My favorite superpower. Whoa. Um, I think I have all the superpower inside Yay. of me. <laughs> I'm <a> superwoman. <laughs> <laughs> very good. <laughs> it's a very so good. So I don't need one. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> it's a great answer. It is a great answer. So to follow up your 
wish to time travel, one incident in the past which you will change in the history? In the history in general? In general oh or God. from your life? Or? Ah, in, in the history of general, so many, so many, but in my life, nothing. I do not regret a single moment. Uh, every, even every failure taught me a lot and I am grateful to all my failures and all my mistakes. No, absolutely nothing. Yeah, I was also here. I also read that you are a lawyer and an actress. Yes. I'm a lawyer. Okay, nice to, <laughs> so meet, you. Nice to meet you. We're <laughs> colleagues. Yeah. So, like, I felt personally like law helped me with my art. Yeah. Learning law, course. like, so it gives you the critical thinking yes. when you see things in a different perspective. Yes. yes. So, do you think, like, it helped you in any way with your career as an actress? Yes, as you said, law is one of the subjects in general or one of the studies that make you really resonate or um, how to call reason in a very critical synthetic way uh, so this is this helped shape my mind and this helped me approach certain causes as an actress or as a person a public a public uh, a public figure I, I chose to be more involved with causes that really speak to me and uh, and I think this comes from my legal background. It comes from the fact that I think every law student is an idealist. We want things to get better, we want things, we want less injustice, we want the world to be a better place and more fair. So uh, it helped me a lot in choosing my roles, in choosing what I want to portray in, um, in the causes I, I, I advocate for. Um, so another light-hearted question, because it's going to serious. If you are the last person in the world, what you would do? <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you. That was that was great. It's a wrap. <laughs> Next. It's all folks, right? Yeah, I mean. Right. <laughs> the last person. What would you do? Swim and eat and... No, I wouldn't like to be the last person. Exactly, that's terrible. It's horrible. I know. So, uh, I couldn't do uh, movies. Yeah. <laughs> who, who would watch them? Who, who would make them? Are them? <laughs> <laughs> Where is the humanity? I needed to talk about my stories. No, I don't know. Maybe keep myself. Oh, <laughs> that's very lighthearted. Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's getting serious. <laughs> it's getting serious. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I like myself, so I wouldn't do it. Sure. Right. But about ten minutes to come right. Now, um, as a critic of so your you own movie, movie, what would be your comment? Like, when you make it, you have a no, different you vision. Get a coffee, so. When you see it in the editor's room, you have a different vision. And then after the editing, when you see the final on the screen, at times you will feel like, oh, this part I would have done, like, I should have done something different. So you have any comments from the director's perspective when it yeah, For me, I am an eternal, eternal unsatisfied person. Wow. <laughs> so I'm, I can um, feel happiness for some things, but uh, I, I'm too severe with myself and I um, always find something who is not perfect and I think that the perfection doesn't exist. Especially not in art. Not in art. Art is imperfection. In, in art or human or... No, 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 one. Yeah, no one. But I, I mean, as an actress I, I have, I will not tell you, but I, I was eating my fingers two days ago because there was something that I should have done better in one scene and that I did not do. I shared it with her, but I will not yeah, share it yeah, with you because it is how it is. Yeah. But uh, of course, I mean, the moment you're satisfied, you die. You don't grow up. You don't grow up. You, you become uh, self-sufficient. And that's the uh, contrary of what art is. Art is always pushing yourself to the limits of what you can do. Right. So what, let's speak about your future projects and future vision. What's after Norashi? And another dream. Great. 
anything solid already in place? And another dream, another movie, another, another story to tell you. I have so many things to tell you. Great. <laughs> and we we'll look forward for it. I'm, how can, can we say Baba? I'm in, uh, chatty. I'm chatty woman. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to, to tell stories. Probably next year, Donostia Film Festival, we will see Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. And okay. your plan next? Well, um, filming in Egypt uh, and maybe a, a dream with her soon. Yeah, it'll be great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. to Nora's dream, you know. Or something different. Yeah. yeah. Or something yeah. different. We need to challenge you. I was certain. Great. Okay, that brings to an end to our interview. Thank you very much Thank for your time. You. Congrats you. again for the Thank film. You. Thank you.